the self-entitled draft expert of Land of 10,000 Tears podcast, Mitch. I'm going to be going over um, just a quick PFF mock draft. Let's get into it. Trevor Lawrence, okay. Zach Wilson at two. That's interesting. I'm hearing more and more that the, the Jets are probably going to take um, Penny Sewell. And Micah Parsons goes to three. Wow. Okay. So let's do a little recap. Jalen Waddle four. Interesting. So the Bengals do end up getting their guy. I don't have to trade up to get Penny Sewell. Devontae Smith to the Eagles. Kyle Pitts to the Lions. I don't think this is going to happen because they just drafted TJ Hawkinson a couple of years ago in the first round. Um, but interesting placement. I mean, you could play him out in the slot, um, stand him up on the outside as well. So could possibly be a good fit. I know they might probably, they're probably going to lose Galladay and maybe Marvin Jones. So that's kind of an interesting fit. So Jamar Chase, Justin Fields goes to Carolina. I think it's good, kind of a good fit for him. Trey Lance goes to San Fran. Jason uh, goes to the Chargers at 13. Wow, so they passed they passed up. Oh, look at it's available. I mean, in this spot, Patrick Sertain, Barmore, Rousseau, Slater, Darisaw. Darius Tony's here, Rondell Moore. Oh, do I go with Patrick Sertan? Oh, sorry, Patrick Sertan. There's people are gonna do that in the comments saying maybe that's not right. I don't pronounce it. Um I I in this spot, Sertan, I can you can almost trade this pick, but in this video, I'm not gonna do any trades. Rousseau is kind of a we talked about him a little bit in the past videos. He's kind of a experimental edge rusher. He's not as refined as, say, a Quiddy Pay is. Um, Darisau is very intriguing. Slater. So we do need to shirt that offensive line. But do I call it Sertan? Sertan, Dantzler, Gladney. Zimmer would get Zimmer would get a hard on if he saw this was available. I'm gonna do it. Patrick Sertan. So now we have a long term solution at cornerback. Sean Slater goes. Darisa. Okay. Speed things up a little bit here. Vikings have a ways to go for a pick to have a pop up here. And in the third rounds where the picks start flooding in for the Vikings. So Najee goes to the Chargers. I think he's going to be a really good NFL player. I don't think he's going to fall to the third round. He's in my top 25 for my big board. Leonard Dickerson. Jamie Newman goes in the second round. Wow. Sigh. He falls. Wow. Elijah Bear Tucker goes to the Lions. I hate that. I think Y. Davis is probably going to fall due to his knee injury. Aziz goes to the Jaguar. That's a good fit. They really need an edge rusher. Mac Jones goes to the Bears. Wow. So Rousseau goes to the Cardinals. That's what we. Um, Justin and I mock draft and money moves. Go check out that episode for just the first 18 picks. So Slater goes to Patriots. I feel like they would have taken Sertan just because of the injury concerns. Um, the cornerback right now. Mooring goes to the Chiefs. Is Matthew on his way out? I don't know. Sante Samuel goes to the Titans. Good fit. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, Brad. Brady Christian Chen goes with the Cowboys. That's a great fit. So, yeah, Creed Humphrey. I'm not a big fan of Joe Tryon. Roger McCreary. We already took a 
We already took a corner. Sertan. Ooh. Tommy's there. Bretton Cox. So we got corner. Not exactly a position of need, but um, it was best player available. So I think we got to go and sure up this either defensive line or interior offensive line. Creed Humphrey could slide over to the guard position. I like Shelvin. Um, not exactly a, a absolute bull rusher. He's more finesse. Um, could fit in pretty well to the scheme. Brenton Cox, Eric Stokes. Dylan Moses, could we possibly see the last of Anthony Barr? Contract is kind of cuttable. Hope we can trade him away. I'm going to go with Shelvin here. I think he'll, he'll fit in with kind of a fire and ice kind of deep interior defensive line with him and Michael Pierce. Creed Humphrey goes right before us. Baron Brownie, really, to the – he could fit in pretty well. So we got interior defensive line, Ben Cleveland, Trey Smith. Daniel Filele, he's – I think he's just too big. No, so he's too big. Two, two Atwells here. I think we could probably get him later on. I'm going to go with – Ben Cleveland's a good fit. Trey Smith. I think we got with Trace. I like, I like Trey Smith more than Ben Cleveland. Um, he's got good steps and he knows how to he knows good hand placement. Tennessee didn't really have a good year this year. So um, I think that kind of hindered his performances just because the offense was never really rolling. But let's go with Trey Smith. Okay. Tyree Giuseppe goes to the Chargers once again. I think that's a good pick. Trey Sermon to the Rams. Are they not going to roll Trey Akers? Are they going to try to do one-two attack? I feel like they're very similar backs. Ben Cleveland. Okay. Cornell Powell. Caden Stearns is here. I'm a big fan of Caden Stearns. I know he, you know, he started playing this year and then he 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 backed out once Texas started losing, but that Texas secondary got burned so much. And that's gonna look really bad in the film. But last year he was talked about maybe the top safety in this in this class. Mike Jones Jr. Jameen Sherwood, Xavier Thomas, not a big fan of him. Um, kind of took advantage of the interior pass rush or the yeah the interior pass and um, rush defense of that Clemson young tackle core. I'm gonna go with Caden Stearns here because I f I feel like that we'll, we're not gonna have Anthony Harris back next year, and he's kind of a really good cover coverage safety, kind of what we need um, to balance out with the just all around playmaking that Harrison Smith brings us. I'm gonna go with Caden Stearns. <laughs> And right after this, we're gonna get we get a edge rusher. Jonathan Cooper is here. Don't need corner. Josh Myers is here. Ooh, when's the next pick coming up here? So at one thirty-one, do I think Josh Myers is gonna fall? North Dakota State. Dylan ran red. I always can't pronounce the guy. Rad Nuez. Ooh, Rashid. Kerry Vincent Jr. is here. We don't need the corner, Mitch. But it couldn't, doesn't hurt. Nico Collins. Getting some more play playmakers here. Um, I think this, this wide receiver class is way too deep, though. I think I'm going to go with... Do I just go back to back? 
Ohio State Buckeyes. Cooper is interesting to me. Not exactly polished, but this this defensive end uh, rushers is not a very polished class as compared to, you say, two years ago and last year. He could take advantage of sitting behind, sitting behind uh, Daniel Hunter and DJ Wanham. And Andre Patterson could have his way with that. Or do I double up on safety? I think it's too early to double up on safety. Or do I go interior and just take a gamble and see if Josh Myers is still there? I'm going to I'm gonna go back to back, I think, Ohio State, Buckeyes. Cooper has the size, has the talent. And I think our gamble paid off. Yep, and I'm going Josh Myers. Um, long time starter at Ohio State. Um, and I think he could be pushed out to pushed out to right guard and fit in pretty well. So let's go with Josh Myers. He can handle his own. He, you know, that big, the Big Ten defenses are pretty good this year in stopping the run and um, interior pass rushing. So I think he'll be able to hold his own. So we've gotten interior offensive line. We've gotten edge. We've gotten interior defensive line. We've gotten cornerback number one. Go alongside with Dantzler and Gladney. Gladney, I feel like could be flourish in the slot. He's kind of forced out with all the injuries we had to – play one on one on the outside and he's not he's not that kind of guy. He never was. I mean in college you saw a little bit of it, but uh, he'll definitely flourish in the slot. He's got the speed, he's got the you know the hands to to make quick plays and you know press coverage and stuff. So now I think we go after either a playmaker or a safety. Let's take a look and see what wide receivers are available. Browns here. I like Nico Collins. We don't really have much size on at wide receiver. So he could be an intriguing prospect. Do I think he might fall to our next pick, which is at 155? I think so. So I think we just go with the best player available here, and that's going to be or quarterback too. Let's see what quarterbacks are available. JT Daniels, I don't think he – I think he's going back to school. Bouchelle's interesting to me. Um, you know, he's kind of been a traveler. He went to start at Texas and then went to SMU and really flourished there under that pass – the air raid um, pass attack. I If JT Daniels is here, I think I got to take him. I don't think he's going to be here in the real – I think he's going to go back to school. But I'm going to take him just because he's on the board. And hopefully the site's updates when I think Friday is the cutoff. So I'm going to go with JT Daniels. And then Darius Stills is here. I think was – I think Collins was taken by the, the Broncos. Like they need any more wide receiver help, young wide receiver help. Jerry Judy did have kind of brick hands at the end of the year there. Daz Newsom. Kind of speeds or Lindstrom. I don't think we still Stills is here. I like Darius Stills. First team, all Big Twelve, I believe. So um, he's interesting. Patterson's here. I think you gotta get a weapon. It's close between Diami Brown and Daz Newsom. I I saw a lot more of Daz. Just being that wiggle kind of wide receiver um, can also um, be a, you know, a, let's see, he can be a weapon on special teams as well. Brown also kind of did a lot of that too in college. So take your pick with these UNC wide receivers, but I'm going to go with, I think I like Daz Newsom a little bit more. Deontay Brown's here, big interior offensive lineman. I think his motor needs to be – he needs to have a little bit more motor. Um, kind of gives up on a lot of plays, but you can kind of get away with that with the dynamite offense, a quick release of Mac Jones, and he's get, he's got to shed some weight. Um, don't know how well he's going to perform in the combine, but um, 
if he has that that speed, Lindstrom here, I think he's more for sure center. Uh, I don't think we really need him. Um, I'm going to go with Deontay Brown just to sure up that offensive line. You can never drop too many offensive linemen. It's an ugly – it's a, it's not a pretty pick, but it's definitely something we need. So round six, pick 14. Mon goes to the Bengals to be probably the starting quarterback in the game of the year. We'll see what happens. Uh, don't think Burrow is going to come back from that injury. Um, this is kind of the range where the Vikings would love to trade down or trade for next year's picks, like fifth rounders. Cole Van Lennon here. Lennon. I think Sample, interesting pick. That two lane team was really good this year. Kenny Yaboa. No, I haven't watched too much film on him. Robert Rochelle is someone who I kind of have my eye on. Uh, D2, but he really stands out in that central Arkansas. He just makes you know people look like fools. Tommy Kramer here as well. Kind of a more refined um, guard. But we already took two interior offensive linemen now. Tariq Thompson's here. I want to go with Tariq Thompson. I didn't realize he was here. We need possibly, you know, the next in line for starting safety once um, Harrison Smith calls it a career. Sample's still here. Need linebacker as well. Let's check on and see what linebackers are available. Micah McFadden. Tony Fields is interesting to me. Tough Borland kind of had a tough game in the national championship. But who wouldn't with that Alabama D for offense? I'm not going to try to pronounce this guy's name, um, but watching a little bit of UFC, kind of who's hot and cold. I'm going to go with Micah McFadden. I feel like he's a good scheme fit. Big 10 um, linebackers tend to do well for us. I mean, kind of. I mean, the Michigan linebacker. Yeah, so here is our here is our um, draft. So we start off with Patrick Sertan, just the best player available. We got Tyler Shelvin, Trey Smith. So we already shared, we, we shared up that defensive line. We shared up our inside with Trey Smith. And we got weapons, too. And later on in the draft, Caden Stern's going to start alongside Harrison Smith, um, former graded out last year, beginning of last year to be a first round safety, um, tough season, but um, PFF loved that pick. Jonathan Cooper, all these guys, Josh Myers, JT Daniels, I don't think he'll be there. I think he's going to go back to school once again. Um, Cooper needs some refinement. Uh, he could definitely sit behind some, some people like um, Daniel Hunter and hopefully um, – Andre Patterson can, you know, we can mix him into the lineup. We're going to be losing a lot of um, edge rushers. I think if Eddie's probably not going to be here next year. And, uh, Myers, kind of, he's a ref he needs to be refined a little bit more in um, his pass pass rush or pass blocking. Um, he's kind of got a good nose for run blocking. Kind of big reason why uh, that Ohio State team had so much success later on with Trey Sermon. Newsome, just squirrely, really likes to get an open space and be given the ball. He's going to make it, make some plays. Uh, Deontay Brown went back to the interior offensive line. Can be a kind of a plug and play, um, six man rotational guy. If we decide to move um, move on from Reef this off season and put Ezra at left tackle, Tree Thompson kind of a prototype at safety hasn't really started much there um, and definitely needs some refinement, but he'll be behind Kate Stearns and Harrison Smith and then Michael McFadden. I feel like he's going to be almost a day one starter if Eric Wilson can't be resigned, but let me know what you guys think about this draft. I think it's pretty, pretty good. And, you know, having Sertan there at 14, I think Vikings could definitely drop down there. 
Um, but let me know in the comments, give it a like, subscribe, and we'll keep pumping out some more draft stuff for you guys. So, see ya.